Okay, hello dear friends. Let's do some exercise. We have just done a video about uh, Pascal Triangle on my channel. And this one is we put that theory, the Pascal Triangle, into practice to expand these forms. Which one do we choose? Five. Five seems to the power of five. Question number one, x plus y to the power of five. Okay, let's start from something simple and easy. Okay. Ink is finished. We use this one. <clears throat> so, can we see it clearly? X. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in here. X plus Y to the power of 5. We can know. <clears throat> 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1. Four, six, four, one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. So this is to the power of zero, power of zero, power of one, power of two, power of three, power of four, power of five. So we can <coughs> and. <coughs> Another thing to see if we are right, we count the 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 terms one, two, three, four, five, six, six term, which is right. The term will be always one number bigger than the power. And um, your teacher must have explained it very well. I'm not a math teacher. I do it for fun. So. Uh, don't expect a good explanation from me. Uh, okay, this sounds a little bit irresponsible, but uh, I just uh, do not have the ability to explain it well. So the power is uh, the power for the x is from the highest to the lowest decreasing, and the power of y, the second term is from zero to uh, increase to the highest. So the first term is x to the power of, uh, of 5 and y to the power of 0, which is 1. We do not need to write it, but in any case, why not I write it? I want to make it clear. y to the power of 0. And x to the power of 4, x to the power of 3, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 1, and x to the power of 0, and y to the power of 0 here, y to the power of 1. Can we see it clearly? Let me see. I hope you can see it. I cannot see it y to the power of 2, y to the power of 3. Are we still in the, in the range? Then move, move it a little bit. y to the power of 4, y to the power of 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. So at the end of the day, the two powers add up together, the degree add up together, should be the power of uh, of what we are going to, what we are multiplying. 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, you know it. 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, 0 plus 4, 5 is 5. And now we will need to work on to put in all these coefficient in. I will use a green pen to do this. And this is positive, so all the number is positive, which is easy. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 
and it's all positive. It's a happy day. We are all positive. So at the end of the day, I write it clearly. X to the power of five plus five x four y plus ten x cube y square plus ten x square y cube plus five x y fourths plus y five fifths, and this is what we are expanding, and that is it. Okay, now we do the second question. M my uh, p minus m to the power of seven. I will keep on writing until it reaches to seven. One six fifteen twenty fifteen six one one seven twenty one thirty five. Um, thirty five and twenty one seven one. Now let's count the terms. How many terms we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's to the power of seven. So eight terms to the power of seven. It's perfect. That is what we are going to 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 get. I will keep this one and write in a new piece of paper P minus M to the power of seven equal to P seven M uh, uh, P six M P five M square negative M. I will not do negative sign to write it here. And if you do it, uh, you should do it constantly. You will and you will end up understanding. It's one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, depending on the power of this M. So I will use, I will think this is an addition, M negative M as a complete term. Do I make any sense here? P4 negative M3, P3 negative M4. Uh -oh. I should uh, write it uh, a bit. I will write it this way. P minus M to the power of seven equal to P seven P six negative M P five negative m square p4 negative m cube p3 negative m four p square negative m fifth p negative m six negative m seven now we look for the coefficient the coefficient is one seven twenty one thirty five thirty five twenty one seven one okay one time negative is negative. Two times negative squared is positive. So this one, the term is positive. 
negative, positive, negative, positive, three times, negative, four times, positive, five times, negative, six times, positive, seven times, negative. So the result is P7 minus 7P6M plus 21P5M2 minus 35P4M3 plus 35P3M4 minus 21P2M5 and plus uh, 7 p m 6 minus m 7 and that is the the expansion of this term shall we stop here it's 11 minutes i think we shall stop here and uh, and uh, i will do another one a bit later on with a little bit more complicated number how about that